Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdo. So in the previous video, we have learned about the view child and also the view children. Now in this video, we will learn about the content child and the content children. So content child and the content children and the view child, view children is one and the same only. Just I want to explain you the difference between these things. So now the content child is a decorator in Angular that provides a way to access the child component or directive or DOM element from a parent component class. It is a part of the Angular content project mechanism, which allows you to inject content from parent content into the child content. The content child decorator is used to get the first element or the directive matching the selector from the content DOM. I will try to show you a simple example so that you will be able to understand the clear mechanism, how we can able to uh, implement this one. So for the for, for that for this thing, what I will try to do is I will create a new one that is nothing but child component. So ngGC child component so i am creating a child component here so let us create it so now we have created a child component here so what we will try to do is let's go to the app component.ts file and in this one i am i am adding this child component child component let's add this child component is yes, fine so now here uh, when we are trying to use this child component okay so when we are trying to use this child component, for example, let's say that in our app component, right? So here, this is our app component. I will try to create this app child. And also I will create another component that is NGGC parent component also, so that we can have a clear understanding about this parent and child relationship. So not the child component, we need to have a parent component also we need to have. So let us create it. Now app parent component has also been created. Now here what I want to do is, so let's say that we will be adding an app parent. So here let's go to the app component and here I will add the parent component also. And in our here, so here I will be accessing the app iPhone parent and in this one I will use the app iPhone child. Let's assume. Okay. So like this I am using it. Now let's go to the parent.component.ts file. So here I will go to the parent.component.ts file. So where we have used it, yeah, parent.component.ts file and also we need to have the parent.component.html file also. So now here in this one, so what we need to do, we need to add the ng content in order to access the element. Okay. So here I will access the ng content. Okay. Now automatically the data will come here. Child works. Yes. The child component came. Let's go to the child component.ts file and also here let's go to the and here I will be having a text of type message sorry message of type string okay so what i will do here i will add a some welcome message or anything okay so we'll add some hello from child component we'll use hello from child component i'm adding this one and what i will try to do is here i will have a message show message and this one will alert the message this dot message okay so this is also completed now what i need to do in our template in our child.component.html file so child.component.html file and here i will do do um, message okay so hello from child component that's it finish child.component.ts file is there and parent.component.html file is there and parent.component.ts file is also there. So now what I want to do here in our parent.component.html, we have an ng content, right? So I need to access this ng content, whatever the data is there in this ng content, I want to access it. So that means here we are having ng content app iPhone child is, is getting uh, rendered. So we can access that one using the content child. So why? Because this app iPhone child is present in the app.component.html. Whereas here, if you want to access it, we can access it only through the view child. So in order to access that content, we will be using a content child. So content, sorry, content child, and here it should be child component. So why? Because we are having a child component, right? And this one is a child component, and this was of type child component. That's it. So that's it. We have added it. Now this one will be available in ng after view unit and also in the ng after content in it also so here you can have ng after content in it so you can have it like this and you can view you can console.log and you can console.log this dot child component that's it finish 
Now if you try to see in our console.log, so here you will be able to access this child component. See, child component is there. And if you want to access the method means you can access the show message also. Now you will be able to get an alert message directly. See, so like this we can able to access the content using the content child. And as usual, you know, right? So we have also an options just like the view child. So if you want to read this one as an element ref, so you need to mention this one as an element ref. And also here also you need to mention this one as an element ref. Okay. Now, now you will not able to access this one. So you will be able to access this one as an only the native HTML element. You will be able to access this one. Yeah. Like this will be able to access. This is how we will be uh, using this and you also have a static true which will be available on the ng on unit also ng after unit also it is available. So this is about the content child and also we have an another option also like uh, what I can say is content children. So if you are having double children here app hyphen child. So if you want to access these both the things then what we need to do here. So instead of using this one we need to use a content children. Okay and content children this should be read as uh, what is that one. So here. Uh, uh, you can remove this one. So if you want, you can also use the read option. But here this time we will get a query list. Query list of child component. Okay, child component. Now if you try to see here, query list of child component. Now if you try to uh, check here the child components. Actually this one will be child components. You will get a child components. And if you see here, you will be able to get a query list. Okay, so two app children are there. We will be able to get this one. So if you want to check, you can also check with the length. We will be able to get it two. See, we got the two. So like this, we can able to you can you do the for each loop and all those things. Whatever thing you want, you can do it. And also you can also have an read option also. So so it should be read as uh, child component. Okay, and if you try, if you see here the option also, we will be able to get it. So this is how. We, and you can also have a static true which will be available in the ng on it also. So this is the difference between content child and content children. So I am trying to do both the content child and content children in one video only. Why? Because so same like view child and view children only it is there. So there is nothing more different in that one. But whereas instead of uh, directly accessing the component template, we will be accessing the, the content projected in that component in using the ng content. So that data we will be able to access it using the content child and content children. Content child means only one, one element we can able to access. Content children means the multiple query of a list of data we will be able to access. So this is these are the main difference between content child and content children. So I will be committing this code in a new branch that is nothing but video-23. Okay, video-23. And whoever may be having doubts or anything if you want to refer this code, I will be providing the GitHub repository URL in the description below. So you can have it. Take a look at that one. So here content children. So these two are the things which we have learned it. So I am committing this entire thing. So that's it guys about this content children and content children. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.